Hey guys, Sequoia here from Phoenix Off-Grid Solutions. Uh, today we're looking at this power distribution center. This is a collection of components that work really well together, and it's something that I use in every single one of my off-grid power system installs. Uh, I've been um, designing and installing off-grid power systems for over five years. I have built over 100 custom conversion vehicles, and now I am owner and operator of Phoenix Off-Grid Solutions, a design and install uh, shop here in Morgantown, Pennsylvania, focusing on power systems, HVAC systems, and plumbing systems for conversion vans, RVs, and other custom conversions. So what we're looking at today is a Victron Lynx Power In, a BEP 400 amp um, main switch. Uh, this is a Victron BMV 712. This is a battery monitor. Uh, and this is all contained within an Artec shim plate. Um, we're going to go over a couple different differences between some of these components. Um, but this is an amazing um, basis or foundation for your off-grid power system. I highly recommend it. I no longer mess around with separate positive and negative bus bars and separate switches. All of this stuff connects really easily, uh, and it really cleans up your install. It's also very quality. So uh, a Lynx Power In actually is des um, a component designed to take... Um, multiple batteries inputs and then provide them to your system. Um, in Victron's case, they uh, make a separate uh, BMS, which is a battery management system that connects to the power in. So this is the input side. You have your BMS and then you would have something like this link distributor on the other side, which is designed to distribute the power from your batteries. The links power in and the distributor are a little different uh, in that the Lynx power in doesn't give you um, the lights to show you that a fuse is blown. It doesn't actually give you the ability to install fuses at all, <clears throat> but it's quite easy to do so. Uh, it also saves you 50 or 60 or $70. I've seen price difference between the power in and the distributor. So what you're looking at here is a modified Lynx power in. Uh, it has four um, stainless M8 bolts on this little bridge that I've installed. And it allows you to um, drop in a mega fuse, which is what the Lynx distributor is designed to do. Um, and the Lynx distributor has, you can see, little um, lights on the front of the cover. So that's a little different. Also, there's the circuit board inside, which is meant to connect to a Lynx BMS. Uh, it also gives you the ability to connect to other distributors if you want to add um, you know, positions for more circuits. Uh, if you don't have a Lynx BMS or if you don't have a GX touchscreen, this circuit board really does nothing. There are some folks out there that uh, have a DIY for, you know, putting in a connector here and then running that to um, a battery. And so it does, it would show you the lights that would go from green to red if one of the fuses were blown. But also, if you're not using one of the circuits, it would show red. Um, and that's not to mention that you're paying, you know, 50 or 60 more dollars for the distributor and then having to buy uh, a harness, which maybe is another 30 or 40 that I've seen. I'd rather just go with a modified Lynx Power In and keep it simple. Um, and there are two different Lynx Power In. There are this one. They're both rated for 1,000 amps. <clears throat> but there's a M10 version, and I recommend that you get the M10 version because of the size of the holes on the end. They're large enough to fit directly on the posts of uh, this BEP switch. Uh, this was one that I had in old stock, so I actually had to drill out the, uh, the holes here to fit instead of an M8 and M10. Um, so in the future and in the links, I'll give you a description or a, a link to, uh, in the description, I will give you a link to the M10 version. There we go. So back to the power distribution center, we have our links power in, we have our BEP 400 amp switch. This is an amazing switch. That's a little pricey at like 60 or $70, but it's amazing in that you get to mount it to your surface first, and then you can run your cables and your lugs directly to to this and then when you're all finished you can pop on the cover you don't have to mess around with a blue c switch where you mount everything on the back and then you install it uh, and in this case you would have to you know pull all, pull all of this up and mount your cable 
uh, and then put it all back down. And that's, you know, kind of clunky in the install process. Um, we also have our battery monitor over here, which I think I said before, this is a Victron BMV 712. You can also use a smart shunt in this place. That's why this little um, opening is machined in on this Artec shim plate. Uh, the shim plate is important because all of these components here, uh, when they're mounted together, they sit at different planes. So the back of the BMV or the shunt sits at a different plane than the switch, which sits at a different plane than the, um, the power in. And so this Artec shim plate, which was about $60 uh, on their website, is I think it's expanded PVC, uh, maybe. And each one of these um, places or spaces is uh, machined to a different depth. And so when you mount it, it all sits nice and flush, it looks really clean. The shim plate also helps you um, bridge any gaps on your mounting surface. If you have two different, you know, I do a lot of retrofit, so I get creative. Two different surfaces that have a gap in between, or if you have a little area that this needs to extend over the edge, you can do that cleanly. Um, and uh, I've used lots of these in the past, and I always keep one in my back pocket for an install. The other option <clears throat> is to take one of these uh, clean install kits by used to be RV Solar Connections, it's now Link Systems, and I'll have a, a link in the description to buy this. And they give you these uh, 3D printed um, little blocks that fit on the back of your distribution center. These go on the switch, like so. They're flexible so that they can kind of fit snugly on here. Um, and then that doesn't need anything, it just makes the plane all the same to the for the shunt. Uh, the nice thing about this, this is only about $30 for this kit, but it comes with a longer brass um, and 10 bolt, which when you go to install your shunt um, on the, the power in or distributor, whatever you choose, uh, the bus bar is so thick that the original, boy, the original bolt is short, too short to fit through that it's too short to too short to fit with the lock washer and the brass washer so in the past i've had to use one of these small the original small brass bolts with just the lock washer um, and give it enough depth to catch on to the um the shunt itself but in the trek system they give you a longer one so you can use the lock washer and the washer and still make it work Again, I had to drill this out so that it would fit. It's not the M10 version, but no problem there. <clears throat> so I think that's basically it as far as this power distribution center goes. Again, I use one of these in every one of my builds. I no longer mess around with two separate positive and negative bus bars. Never have to worry about the ambacity of the bus bar that you're using. This is rated for a thousand amps. Um, makes everything really nice and clean looks professional what more can I say um, I think I did not mention how uh, the Lynx power in can be further mod modified with an additional component like an MRBF um, terminal fuse holder that could fit right on the end here and give you another place to connect a circuit so typically I have with these four circuits uh, four yeah circuits that are here like uh, DC loads, your multi-plus inverter charger, solar input, um, your DC-DC input from your alternator, and then you can use one of these, put it off the end for either a air conditioner or if you're running two DC-DC chargers, or if you just have you know something, something extra like a generator maybe or a um, you know an air compressor. I don't know, could be anything. Uh, but they do make a double version of this with two posts on it, so that's another very uh, sturdy way to add some additional circuits to your system. If you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments. I'll have links to all of the items in the description. Uh, I also will have a coupon code to Trek Systems for um, anything that you buy over there. Uh, I hope I covered all the bases. Um, check out my other videos. Check out my website. I do offer full build consultations. I want to help you build uh, an amazing off-grid um, camper van and uh, save money and save time.
So um, I guess see you next time.